Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Are you listening? Hello, you listen? yes, I can listen to you, Miguel. Ah, okay. How are you? Fine, fine. And you? Perfect, very good, doing good. Ready to teach English. Hello, welcome everybody. So welcome Adriana, welcome Miguel, Marcos, welcome to the... Oh, Marcos having dinner, right? Huh, okay. Uh, bon appetit. You know, there's not a way in English to say buen provecho. Just there's just a way in French, so they use the French one, and they say and they say bon appetit. Okay, so when you wanna say buen provecho in English, just say buen bon appetit. It's buen appetito. Okay, so welcome everybody to the class. Thank you for your punctuality here. I know Marcos was here first, and then you came along. <clears throat> we're just waiting for some classmates, but we're gonna start the class anyways. Uh, we're in, a, in the second month of the year, guys. So we're starting February today. And the year, I'm sure the year is gonna go like this, okay? Because I remember the longest year that I remember is the 2020. Do you, it was so long. I felt like it was forever the 2020, when the pandemic started and we had to be in the lockdown in our houses. Yeah, and that was crazy. Anyhow, let's start with the class. So as I was saying before, welcome everybody and thank you for your punctuality. The first thing that I need you to do because it's February, is another month. So please in the chat here on Zoom, send me the date. What date is today? You know, we're in February already. We're not, not on January anymore, in January anymore. So there in the chat, choose um, Inglés Corporativo, please. Okay. So I'm the only one who can see your answers. Welcome, welcome. We're writing the date. Okay, so send me the date. Uh -huh. Yes, but <laughs> I have people living in the 2021 still. Twenty twenty two, yeah, we're living in the twenty twenty two. It's twenty twenty two already, you guys. Tuesday. Mm hmm. Remember when we write dates in English next to the number, the date, for example, we need letters like I was explaining yesterday. OK, so yesterday was Monday, January 31st, 2022. So we're going to see today. I just have Adriana, Marcos, William and Miguel Angel. Those are the only answers that I have. Hello. And the other answers, I need the answers. Guys, you're writing the date. Today's date. Thank you, Heidi, I have yours now. Okay, yes. So mostly, Marcos, tell me, Marcos. So you got mistaken in the 2021, but then you corrected yourself and it was 2022, right? But look at something. ¿Qué mes escribió usted, Marcos? January. Aha, uh -huh, January too. And also. Uh, it's February. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. So um, another person who wrote January was William. William wrote January and we are living in February already. So it's February, okay? So I'm gonna show you my screen so we can see the date and the topic we have for today. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. <clears throat> Here we are. So today it's, can you read the date please, William, help me. And this is Thursday, February 1st, 2022. Thank you very much, William. Yes, Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Can you help me reading the topic we have for today? Mm -hmm. Glenda. Okay, Miss, good evening. Good evening. Passive overview. Okay, thank you very much. We're gonna see the passive overview. Do you remember, guys, um, the present perfect? Do you know what the present perfect is? So, for example, I have played the, the guitar. I have traveled to Europe. I have bought a new house. Do you remember that? Yes. So now we're going to do something similar. But in the past perfect, the present perfect is I have, and the past perfect is I had. But before we start with that, we're going to start working on our pronunciation. And I have a new tongue twister for you. So if you're ready, this is going to be longer because the first one was ice cream, you scream, milk scream for ice cream. The second one was. Um, how much wood, right? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chuck wood? This time we have a new one. It sounds like we're speaking Chinese. Así suena. Chinese is she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashore she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay? That's what you're going to learn today. Because the pronunciation of letter sh. Um, I'm going to teach you this. Because some classes, like how much wood would a wood chuck? Remember, we're going to make a difference between the sound of cha, cha, ch, and the sound of ch, ch, sh, okay? So they are two different sounds, cha and ch, cha, ch. ch. The, the, the one that we're going to be looking at today is the word, uh, I mean, the sound of sh, is this one, look. All the words, mostly all the words start with the letter S. So the pronunciation we're gonna be practicing is the letter S together with S H. And then words like this one that sound like sure, not sure, is sure, sure, okay? So I'm gonna say it slow. And then I'm gonna go fast, a little bit fast and fast. You just pay attention to the pronunciation so you can do it. She sells sea shells, seashells, sea shells, seashells by the seashore, seashore, seashore. The seashells. She sells our seashells, um, sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. I hope you're paying attention and following me with the pronunciation. I'm going to go one more time. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells 
I'm sure. So, if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay? I'm going to go a little bit faster. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, the first thing you need to do when learning a tongue twister is to make sure you do the pronunciation of every single word. Don't try to go fast. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is you say the word. So don't be like, you know, no, that's not correct. The thing that I need you to do is to think about the word and say it. So she sells, see shells. Be aware of what you're saying. So take a screenshot. We're going to practice this. And then when we come back, we're going to have today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So on Thursday, I'm going to ask you to say it if you can try it. Remember, this is for your pronunciation. This is something that is going to help you, not me. Okay? You ready? Perfect. So we're going to practice that really fast and then we're going to come back here. Yeah. Hello? No, hello. Hello, oh, William, what happened? Hello. Hello, can you hear hello. me? Uh, so, so. I think oh, you're um, having problems hello. with the internet. Hello, teacher. Yes, it's bad, my daughter is bad. Because, um, the, Wait, let's see. Is the problem? Hello. Hello. Sometimes I can hear you, and sometimes I hear you like cut. Se escucha bien cortado. Yes, it's the problem with my ear. Mm. But I am looking for a a signal. <laughs> yeah, because I can barely hear you.
Hello, Julio. Julio, hello. Ahí está, ve, ahora sí. Perfect. Julio, can you hear me now? Julio, ¿me puede escuchar ahora? Hello. Ahí yes, está. Perfect. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room because your classmates are practicing, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome.
pixels are pixels. Okay. Um, I am sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore sells. Okay, Mike, again. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I am sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, it's seashore. Seashore. No, no, seashore is seashore. Sure, D, 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 da, or da, by the, the seashore. By the, by the seashore. By the, by the seashore. By the seashore. Uh -huh. okay. by, the by the seashore. seashore. By the seashore. Okay. By the seashore. Okay. Okay, Mark, again. I don't know. Uh -huh. In YouTube? Ya lo busco. Yes, please. I see it. Miss we said the tongue twister four times per person. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I think okay. we'll my turn. turn. Okay, I'm go right now. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I am sure. So if she sells, I'm sure. Seashells. I'm sure the pronunciation. Sure, I am sure. No, I'm okay. sure. I'm, I'm sure. Sure. Okay, sure. I am sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashores, then I am sure she sells seashores shells. Okay.
Hello, welcome back. So who's going to be brave enough to say the tongue twister? Who's going to be the first one to try to say it? <laughs> uh huh. Nobody. So should I choose? Okay, I choose. Very good. Hey, I'm going to say the tongue twister. I'm okay. Going to try. Okay, mm -hmm. let's try. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Um, she sells seashells by the seashore. The shells the she seashell. sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Very good, Glenda. Good job. Just Very the, low. <laughs> yes, don't worry. The, per, the, uh, the purpose of this is you do the correct pronunciation. Then with practice, you can go fast, right? Okay, but... Um, se me lo olvidó en una parte dijo shells nada más y era seashells solo eso but the, the rest is okay perfect okay give an applause to Glenda good job Glenda perfect good job Marcos now your turn she sold seashells by the seashore the shell the seashells the, the shells she sell as seashells I'm sure so if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Yeah, the same. Yeah, good job. It was very good. Good, 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 good job. Give an applause to Marcos, please. Que no aplaude, ya sabe, envidia de la mala de la que corro el corazón. De la que quita el sueño por la noche. Okay, now guys. Um, no sé por qué se me están confundiendo al inicio. Me dicen, she sells shells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, she sells seashells. Okay, don't, don't make a mistake. Someone else? Does someone else want to try? Or not? Me, teacher. Jasmine, perfect. And then Miguel, and that's it. Okay, Jasmine, <laughs> tell me. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells seashells are seashells i'm sure so if she sells seashells by the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells thank you thank you very much yes that was very good and applause to jasmine okay perfect miguel now is your turn remember okay. this seashore Sure, sure. Okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I am sure. So, if she sells seashells by the seashore, then um, I am sure she sells seashore shells. Very good, very good, very good, Miguel. That was good. But remember, it's seashore, no seashore. Seashore. Shore. Seashore. Sure. Okay. No, no, not shore. It's shore. Seashore. Shore. Shore. Okay. Seashore. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to everybody who participated. Uh, we're going to continue practicing and we're going to see how we go. Remember, the first step to do this is the pronunciation. If you say every single word and then we are going with the speed. But the first thing is pronunciation. OK, we're going to go here and I'm going to explain a little bit about the past perfect, because as you know, we have well, or you have studied the present perfect. And the present perfect is that one that we use with have. For example, to talk about experiences. I have lived in El Salvador for 10 years. I have traveled to Europe. So to talk about an experience that happened in the past, okay? But when we use the past perfect, it's different. Because in the past perfect, we're going to talk about an, an event that happened early in the past. Okay, so early in the past. Why am I going to explain this? How? I'm sorry. Here we have it. See, in the affirmative or positive statements, you use any subject. Then 
had and the verb in past participle. Remember, it's the verb in past participle. Here in this part, we're gonna we're seeing a regular verb that ends with ed. Oh, I'm sorry, and I have to explain to you the pronunciation stuff. Ah, oh, it's true. I almost forgot. Okay, antes de que pasemos a eso, le voy a explicar la pronunciación de los verbos en pasado. La clave más fácil para que usted no ande pensando y con cuál lo pronuncio y así. If the verb ends in T or D, si termina en T y D en su forma base, se va a pronunciar como ED. Want, wanted. Need, needed. ¿Ok? Termina en T y en D. Wanted, needed. Now, the difficult part is si el verbo vibra en la garganta la última letra, lo voy a pronunciar como con D. D, D. Si el verbo no vibra en la última letra, lo voy a pronunciar t, t. Esta vez lo voy a pronunciar como t. For example, el verbo work. Work. La pronunciación, pongan sus dedos acá. Así, bueno, no acá, ¿verdad? Sino que en su garganta. <ríe> ok, hagan la pronunciación de la K. K, K, K. Vibra. Vibra la letra K. Sí vibra. No. Haga la pronunciación de la N. Hagan. ¿Vibra ese? Ese sí, ¿verdad? Entonces la K. ¿Vibra? No. Entonces, ¿cómo no vibra el sonido? Va a ser T. De work. Voy a pasar a worked. Worked. El pasado de work es worked. No worked. Es worked. For example, I worked yesterday. I worked, I worked. See, worked, worked. Present, work. Past, worked. Now, the difference is with the ones that do vibrate. For example, let's say the word or the verb travel. Letter L, do the pronunciation of L. You, you feel the vibration there? Yes. L yes, there's a vibration. Yes, there's a vibration. So in that case, you're going to pronounce the last part as th. So traveled. 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 So in the present is travel. In the past is traveled. Present travel, past traveled. Okay? So the main characteristic to distinguish the pronunciation of the verbs is that one. If it vibrates, it's gonna be the. If it is silent, it's gonna be t. For example, walk. The verb walk, it's silent. So it's gonna be in the past, walked. Walked. Yesterday, I walked in the park. You see the difference there? Yeah? No? No? Walk. Repeat, teacher. Walk. Walked. Walk. Walked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walked is in the present. Walked is in the past. Walk. Walked. Walk. Walked. You need to practice. That's that's all. It's not gonna be magic. It's gonna be. It's gonna need a lot of practice. Okay, let's go with this. But just give me a second. Let me un segundito. Okay, let, sorry about that. Now, here in the past, well, now you know the pronunciation of this is worked, right? Worked, worked. Now, in the past perfect, we're gonna use had. Remember in the present perfect, we use have, okay? So to talk about experiences, for example, 
I have traveled to Europe. Okay, I have traveled to Europe. This is to talk about an experience. But now we're going to talk about an event that happened in the early past. So I'm going to use had in this case, had. Look here, uh, the example, I had worked. Yo había trabajado, si lo quieren traducir al español. Okay, I had worked. Now we have the questions, the negative and the answers, but we're not gonna pay attention to that specifically because um, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Right now, what I need you to understand is this part here. How do we use the past perfect? We have a statement here that says, I opened the door. You see, here is opened. It's not open, it's opened. Present sería open, el past sería opened, opened, okay? I opened the door and I saw that someone had left a note. I opened the door and I saw that someone had left a note. Now, <clears throat> We have a line, here is a timeline. In the timeline, we have the present. This is the moment we're living in. Then we have the past. And then we have earlier in the past. An action or a situation that happened early in the past. Se los explico rápido en español para que no se me hagan bola. Tenemos el presente, el pasado y el pasado Más temprano. <clears throat> Yo abrí la puerta y me fijé que alguien había dejado una nota. Entonces, yo abrí la puerta y yo vi esas dos cosas estamos hablando de el pasado. Yo abrí la puerta y vi. Pero alguien antes de que yo abriera la puerta y viera ya había dejado la nota. Entonces, esa situación que pasó antes de este pasado que menciono acá, se va a utilizar el pasado perfecto. ¿Me doy a entender? <coughs> ok. Now, if you wanna be like trying to figure out how to do it and how to use it, think about this. En español, si van a utilizar el hubieran. Si yo digo, I have traveled, es yo he viajado. Pero si yo digo, I had traveled, es yo había viajado. ¿Ok? Ese había es the one that we're looking at today. Just to keep it in mind, think about this. Present, past, and early in the past. Let's do an example. When I came to the class today, okay, that's in the past. When I came to the class, Marcos had logged in already. Marcos ya se había conectado. You see? So I'm talking about the past and I'm talking an early past. Let's do some examples. I have here something we can work on to do some examples. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me share the screen. Okay, here. Past perfect. We use past perfect when we mention two events. Two events. Look at this. When we mention two events in the past. One happened in the past and one in the early past. And when we need to emphasize the order. So we need to emphasize the order in how something happened. Okay. For example. Here we have the example. By the time I got to the airport, we need to see what event happened first and what event happened second, okay? So by the time I got to the airport, the plane had already taken off. What happened first? That I got to the airport or the plane took off? I got to the airport. 
No, primero se fue el avión no. antes de que yo llegara al aeropuerto. Ah. The plane had already. The plane took off, took off, right? And then I got to the airport. Okay, so the first event that we see here is what happened first. And the second one is that I got to the airport. I didn't get to the plane because the plane took off. Let's do the second one here. This is what we're going to do together. Lucy had already left, okay, when I arrived home. What happened first? I arrived home or Lucy left? Lucy left. Lucy left. That's going to be the first event. Then when Lucy was not in the house, I got home and I arrived home. That's going to be the number two. Okay, now guys, what you are gonna do in this moment, okay? It's, we're gonna read these statements and you're gonna tell me what happened first and what happened second, okay? Remember, the past is the activity that happened second and the early in the past with the press, I mean, the past perfect is the activity that happened first. Do you get it? Okay, so let me uh, share. Repeat, repeat. The press, the, I mean, the past perfect is the activity that happened first, and the past is the activity that happened second, in the second place, okay? Teacher, past uh -huh. perfect, you say hot forever. Yeah, you say hot, always. Okay. Yeah, that's a key, that's a key, yeah. Okay, who is in a computer? Marcos, you're on a computer. Jose Manuel, you're on a computer. And who else is on a computer? Nobody else? Okay, let's go with Jose Manuel and Marcos. You can also share your screen if you are on a... Recuerden cuando digan sus respuestas, digan por qué, ¿verdad? No solo vayan a estar así como... Deme un segundo. Discutan por qué, no solo digan la respuesta, please. There we go. Let's go. Share the screen and complete the exercise.
William, you're still having problems with the internet? Hello, hello. Ahora sí lo escucho más claro, William. Yes, uh, I am looking for a signal, but I try to uh, restart the class now. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so your classmates are working on groups. I'm gonna send you to a breaker room because okay, I think you're. Me. Ahora sí le escucho bien claro, así que creo que ya le va a funcionar todo bien. Okay, Hopefully. Thank you. Okay. Come in. Esa cuestión. Your mother coming. And your mother coming is the first. And you clean your room. No. Two. There's no answer. Están seguros. No, no, it's a, it's a. Ya question. habías limpiado tu habitación no, con tu mamá de vino. ¿Qué pasó primero? No. Had cleaned your room or your mother came in? Uh, I cleaned. Teacher, it's a question. Clean your yes, room. it's a question. It's a question. Uh, But the activities are in order. Every the, time. The cleaner. Uh -huh. uh, And the past clean. perfect is always first. Remember? Past perfect is always first. El pasado perfecto siempre va primero. Mm. ¿Por qué me lo están poniendo el segundo pasado entonces? Perfecto. Mm -hmm. You're cleaning your room. You're not coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go now. No great. No, wait. <laughs> why, why, why? The myth is here. We can ask. About the letter D. Uh, who? 
Uh -huh. B. I'm sorry. The letter D is the same. Is the same activity they had uh, with your classmates. So your classmates said letter D, letter D, letter D. Okay. So the question is, has your cleaned your room when your mother came in? It's a question. Yes. yes. But the activity should be happening in uh, in order. So qué pasó primero? La mamá vino primero o dice ya habías limpiado tu habitación cuando tu madre vino? ¿Qué pasó Por primero? Mí, ¿La madre vino y después limpió la habitación? ¿Le estoy preguntando? ¿O le estoy preguntando que si ya había limpiado la habitación cuando no, la mamá no. llegó? ¿Cuál yes, es el yes, yes, wow. okay, teacher. First, you clean your room. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you, me. Okay. okay. Remember Check. always. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Let's go, let's, let's go, go. Let's see. Okay. Good job. Perfect. Wow. Excellent. Hey, excellent. Thank good you, job. Job. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Yes, good job, guys. Hey, excellent, Linda, Manuel, Adriana. Okay, now you, just teacher. practice, just practice pronunciation, okay? For example, look at the letter B. The letter B. It says when they arrived, arrived at the stadium, right. the game had already started. In this yeah, case, because the verb started. ends with a T, we're going to do started, okay? Started. 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 E e e yes, started. E e e because e when it ends with a T or a D, you can do that, okay? Okay. Okay. Practice pronunciation. Practice reading right now. Okay. Glenda. Okay. I want to see your grade. What is your grade? 
Eight, eight out of ten. Eight, okay. ten. eight out of eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I hadn't finished my homework by the time the school bus arrived. I hadn't finished my homework when the school bus arrived. Okay. <laughs> by the time the school bus arrived, I'm sorry. I was trying to finish my homework. The school bus arrived. What happened first? ¿Qué estaba haciendo yo primero? The bus arrived. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing? No, uh... ¿Ah? Yo estaba intentando terminar la tarea y después eh, llegó eh. el bus. That's the thing. I was trying to finish my homework, but then the bus arrived and it arrived late. Okay? But good job. Solo una? Yes. Good job. Good job, guys. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Teacher. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Is I say is time is, is we are over time. Yeah, we're over time. Yes, it's yeah. true. Yeah, we're it's over. it's correct. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're over time. Yes, it's true. Okay, now guys, remember the activities in the ha in the past happened. You need to think what activity happened first and then what activity came next. Tomorrow we're gonna study the other structures to do negative statements and question with the past perfect, okay? And I will see you guys okay. tomorrow at 8 okay. p.m. Yes? See you tomorrow, teacher. See bye you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.